don't mind this video too much. There's really nothing going on. I created this more as a log for myself because for me, it's a big deal to step out of the house on an off day this early. I'm just sad that you guys know the story if you've been around for a while, but I've always been sad that I waste a lot of my days off and I do nothing. I go nowhere, which in of its own is not a bad thing. At least I'm not, I'm not out there wasting money, getting in trouble, hanging out with potentially wrong crowds. But I'm just saying that I just spent too much of my time dormant and sleeping and I've spent a great deal of my life like that and I feel like it's a big deal for me and a little bit of an adventure when I break from my pattern from my cycle and I end up feeling a little happier because I see just how much I can get done on one day and how much longer my day is when I start it at closer to 7 than closer to 10 you know because by the time 1 p.m rolls around like I can feel my day just creeping to an end at around four something a.m i guess it was like 4 57 ish or 47 ish i don't know what happened i woke up and i couldn't sleep at first i thought well maybe it's because of that bullshit i told you guys that i struggle with which is going to the bathroom before bed drinking enough water whatever so I did just that. I'm like, okay, I do need to use the restroom. Let me drink some water. Anyway, I wasn't feeling drowsy. So I just laid in bed, just pretty chill, pretty calm. And my cat, Dusty, happened to join me on my way to the bathroom and from the bathroom. So I just stood there and pet him for a little bit. And... I found his purring to be pretty calming and he was calmer than normal. I think it's because it's not something that's part of my routine. So he must have been either weirded out or intrigued by it. But anyway, then I left him alone. I went back into the room trying to sleep again. But I felt like 20 minutes had gone by and... I checked the time and I decided to turn my phone off. My phone was off for about 40 minutes. So I turned it back on closer to 6 a.m. And I told myself, well, evidently I'm not going to have any success going back to sleep. So let me see if I can watch something, listen to something so that I can maybe bore myself to sleep like oftentimes happens when i can't sleep i try to look for something to watch because i've discovered that those things can put me to sleep background noise i waited for a little longer and i told myself well i could go out get breakfast and even get some gas because i'm kind of on the lower end of the spectrum since last weekend i had to drive about an hour away one way and i had the air running and stuff so i could see my gas being drained but i decided that i would wait until it felt just bright enough in my room but then i forget that the curtains that i have now are wider and i guess my perception of daylight is different I decided to step out and now it's 6.53 a.m. And I'm kind of beating myself up because I'm telling myself the whole point of me waiting was because I wanted to see not quite nighttime, but not quite daylight. And then I step outside and it's already much brighter than I thought. And I'm telling myself, how could I forget that when, for me, it was normal to go to work this early. And I knew exactly what it looked like. But in the winter time, this would be a completely different story, you know. So I guess I was kind of still stuck in the springtime, which was the last time that I was out this early. And now I can say that the thing that weirded me out about stepping out a few minutes ago is that the temperature is exactly 70 degrees and 
I couldn't feel anything. I couldn't feel neither hot nor cold. So I told myself, whatever this temperature is without sunlight, this is the temperature of nothingness. Like what I imagine room temperature is supposed to be. Just, I couldn't feel any heat. I couldn't feel any chill. It was just right there. Dead in the center. I'm not sure what I'm going to get for breakfast. There was a part of me that wanted to go to Chick-fil-A, but then I remember how stupid small their biscuits were and how it didn't even make me that happy. So now I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely going to get something. But whatever it is, I don't want it to be sugary. I want it to be a real breakfast. So yeah, this is more for myself. Don't mind me. So you guys, I actually ended up doing nothing because after I got my little breakfast, and I got gas. While driving, after getting gas, my eyes started feeling heavy. So then I got here and I completely died. I completely fell asleep. I got back here around a little after eight and I slept until 10, but I didn't feel like getting up and now it's 12. So I've been kind of in and out of sleep for the past two hours. No regrets. I've needed the rest because like my mind has been a little uneasy about some things and I just need to like chill the fuck out. I'm not gonna regret shutting down like that, but I don't want to make that a habit and keep myself stuck in that trap. It'll get better, slowly but surely.